uh, white Y fusion 360 and uh, uh, the complete porous solution, complete solution for porous development. So it's something that we want to use the opportunity for us to, um, yeah, for us to explore this amazing tool and then go forward to uh, do a lot more and how we could uh, uh, do a lot more on this. So this workshop is as uh, in conjunction with uh, generative car services and Autodex Nigeria. So, so I will hand over to Julian quickly to get to have uh, quite a brief introduction on the fusion tree system about Autodex and then we can move forward and also the things. Julian, over to you. Thank you. The mic is muted. Okay, so um, good morning, everyone. Um, I will have to also join my own voice with Felix of Generative Cat to welcome everyone today. Um, it's quite surprising that um, a whole lot of people who are dedicated their interest to attend are yet to join. However, um, Felix will be recording this session. So um, just let, let's get started. So firstly, um, I would like to introduce Autoca um, Autodex. So basically Autodex is a global leader, all right, that makes software or makes solutions for people who make things. So that means basically, um, if you ever have, you know, reading, uh, been in any first, uh, fast car, um, you know, climbed any sky, um, high, uh, skyscraper or any kind of movies, or any kind of product, anything at all whatsoever, as long as it falls within that phrase, making things. So generally, Autodex help people make things across various industries, across the architecture industry, engineering, construction, and manufacturing as well. Yes, we also um, do that. Uh, um, even down the media and entertainment, entertainment industry. So today we just have to take you through uh, a journey, a session where we discuss, all right, the, a single innovative solution, all right, that would help you effectively design or develop a product. So that is why it's them, why fusion? Why exactly would you consider fusion? Why would you consider an innovative solution, an innovative approach to uh, product development. So, you know, typically, uh, a, a typical um, environment, a typical um, entity that makes or develop product would, would have this kind of ecosystem, right? Having a lot of stakeholders playing around. And, you know, when things are not really organized or innovatively planned, you're going to have a whole lot of um, tangles like what you see here. So it, this really calls for a new way of attacking, a new way of approaching product development, especially in cases where we are dealing with um, small businesses, all right? Especially when we're talking about small businesses. So you see that Autodex, and Fusion 360, as well as a whole lot of design and manufacturing um, industrial solutions that Autodex offer helps our customer, all right, connect, all right, um, stay connected with the way they design things, all right, their design processes for end-to-end -end um, uh, connectivity or end-to-end -end, uh, workflows in all through the life cycle of your product. So. The connection is quite very important, all right? And we're also talking about the automation of what you're doing. So as you stay connected, uh, you really need an innovative way to, you know, spend more time innovating and spend le less time doing typical tasks, all right? Or you really, you really need these, um, this leverage, all right, to, Automate, right? Of course, basically automation is a process that really helps you um, get much output from a smaller time. So doing more with less. And 
also connectivity, all right? When we talk about networking, when we talk about global supply chain, irrespective of the stakeholders in your project. So, you know, it's quite very unique when we talk about the network around the project. So this is actually one of the challenge we have when, we develop, when we're developing a product, because if there is no smooth, if there's no lean connection, if there's no lean network uh, across all the stakeholders, in a project, you find out that the cost and time suffers for it all. So when we're talking about these businesses, it's quite unique. Um, it's quite unique that uh, the flexibility of our solutions comes into play, all right? It's, we need to have an intuitive platform that uh, can conf configure any kind of theme whatsoever. So a solution that can intellig uh, intelligently power your decision-making process will be quite unique, especially when we're talking about um, small businesses. So from the designs to, to, to the e-cards or to the manufacturing, and then also putting across the procurement processes, because these are things people tend to overlook when we're talking about design. So um, to just get into the juice of it. So, who exactly needs this solution? Who exactly does this cut across? So firstly, we'll start talking about anybody, any stakeholder operating through the product design processes, the engineering of it, the concept development, all right, um, the production engineering, and even the shop floor production. So, so we'll start seeing people like the concept developers, right, the designers, the industrial engineers, the electronics engineers, the electrical engineers manufacturing guys and then machinery. So all of these people um, will find this in handy. So yeah, um, a whole, you may or may not, um, you may or may not been working with a whole lot of um, vendors in this field, but this is not even a, a, a problem because Fission 360 um, gives you the ability to work with any kind of um, data files, any kind of design file, and still maintain the associativity with the original file. So this technology, there are technologies, there are a whole lot of technologies at Autodex like um, or any card that would help you work with non-native files. So, but basically let's now touch up, um, you know, take a look at all of these people who identified as the typical people who would need um, a, a Fusion 360, firstly, industrial um, designers, all right? Fusion would improve these guys' workflows such that from the concept development, all, all the typical um, processes they need, whether they are, they, they are having access to free forms, surface modeling, to meshes, parametric design. So this is where Fusion uh, is quite powerful because um, you have the power to go through various design um, modeling tools. All right, so you know, all through the concept development, even if you're so much acquainted with the process of mesh and mesh development, you, you have the ability to reduce drastically the time spent in doing your designs. And also, at the end of the day, you know, the, the cost is not totally isolated because why you leverage these, you are still going to see towards the later part of this presentation or towards the later part of this session, um, various other awesome things that can actually help you with, um, gain massive return on investment just by adopting Fusion. So um, for the same industrial designers, you still have abilities to um, enjoy photorealistic images on the same platform. So you do not even need to get your third party software. So this helps you also spend uh, less time, you have um, abilities to leverage cloud technology because Fusion is a cloud-based solution, all right? So cloud computation comes in handy. We are still going to see um, other places or other aspects of this um, solution where cloud computations would be leveraged for computational purposes, all right? Um, also, when we start talking about um, aesthetics, all right, curves, you know, the beauties of products, the fillets, the complicated curves, all right? We start talking about surface modeling, which Fusion is able to um, give you, all right? And all, we don't need to even forget the fact that it's, it's one solution, it's one single solution that gives you the ability to prototype. So we, with Fusion 360, you're not just um, 
making a design or analyzing, you know, doing some FDAs, all right? Autodex have really got you or uh, got your back, right, downstream of your process. So you're not just um, looking at the CAD aspect of it, you're looking at the CAE, CAD, CAE, and also the CAM aspect of it. Um, sorry. Now, also another set of guys that need these quite um, well are the mechanical engineers, right? The typical design engineers who now go ahead to do maybe a whole lot of solid designs, um, multi-body designs, um, sheet metal designs, as the case may be. So the the the, the capability of um, fusion to give you high end parametric designs, all right, designs that are controlled by parameters, by equations that are properly constrained, all right, gives you, you know, all the all the um, qualities of a professional grade design solution, all right. This is what you you stand to gain with um, fusion tree system. So this is one of the reasons why you need um, fusion tree system on the same platform. All right, um, mesh and direct modeling is also one um, feature that you will find also find helpful. And I would like to point out that you're, you're also able to import um, 50 plus file format. So you don't even need to worry about how or what in what platform your collaborators or other of your stakeholders are working, all right? You still have the ability to integrate that. This. So um, Fusion still have the ability to gives you the ability to do high end FEAs, all right, such that um, you do not need to um, worry about um, getting to a third party solution to analyze your product. So with Fusion, you still have that single central solution whereby you, you perform as much as linear, non-linear analysis, you know, and then yes, some of them also would need um, maybe some cloud credit for you to even you know, leverage um, cloud computation. So this is one of those places um, you will find it quite helpful that you might um, overcome the limitations of hardware, all right, your computer hardware, and then you know, outsource your, your um, solving process to the cloud. So and, you know, Fusion has a wide range of um, FEA capabilities also. So all of these are in, in a single Fusion, uh, Fusion 360 solution. So um, this is quite flexible uh, as you must know, and also um, the almighty event-based um, event simulations also. So um, I also want to point out that, you know, you can't do it all without um, considering animations and 2D um, drawings, all right? Animations, explosions, all right? Being able to communicate your design, this becomes quite uh, very important because, um, uh, if you do not have the full life cycle of a project in one system, that becomes a problem. So you still have the ability to document, to prepare your sheets, to prepare your documentation and then share with manufacturing. Um, generative design is a technology that has continuously disrupted every uh, of other technologies. Yes, there have been things like topography optimization, which have been there for a while, but not as much as generative design. So basically generative design um, explores manufacturing ready outcomes earlier in your production state, all right? So you're able to optimize costs, material, and different um, uh, manufacturing techniques so you can get to market faster. So still using this particular design. So you see that um, with generative design, all right, you can leverage the power of AI, like artificial intelligence to, to um, generate numerous outcomes, all right, for the same idea. So basically in the traditional process, you know, people tend to, you know, in, in a process, in the development process, concept development process, all right, people tend to raise, you know, come up with various ideas and then keep streamlining uh, until they get to uh, one particular idea and then they go ahead with it. Now, most times it's not really like those ideas or those particular um, outcome would be the best, but maybe because of the time and then the resources involved, right? People are forced to um, remain uh, or go with one particular option. So, but with generative design, you have the ability to generate numerous outcomes, thousands of outcomes based on um, engineering process of analysis. You know, the same FEAs are embedded in the process of these, also considering or not isolating the manufacturing process associated with the parts you tend to produce. So 
this is the power of generative design. So um, just to elaborate more on generative design, you see that on the traditional process, people, as you see on your screen, um, during the concept development process, you would be limited or restricted to some level or some number of options and uh, things like manufacturability and resource, all right, will limit this. However, with generative design, you start from the start, define the, the, the parameters, it's just like the typical FEA process combined with the design process where you specify a couple of boundary conditions, things that are very critical to design, and then you have numerous options. Then you can now select, uh, uh, you can retreat, you know, you know, narrow down and converge down to a single point that you can go with. So you see that this is very helpful and it does the same thing faster than a typical traditional process. So another thing is electronics, all right? The electronics engineers, you know, people who do electronics. So Fusion now has um, in, included in it the power of the original Eagle. So you can complete a full PCB design with Fusion. So Fusion gives you the ability to do intelligent hardware products. So from, from the start of your product, like as you have this, you can, you know, in your the same design process, all right, generate your model, which is the M card, all right, and also, you know, being able to generate your electronics part of it. So in this single workflow, still within Fusion, you can define your areas that, you know, making your PCB designs, you know, on the same platform. So this is totally linked with the original product. Now with this, you have a single cent a single central unit to have your full product design. So these are not just mere modeling, these are functional PCB designs, all right? So down the line, downstream of this process, you, you, might, you might be outsourcing this production to some other company out there, or you might also want to prototype and you know, start doing the CAM associated with this. So these are all the possibilities. These are all the capabilities that you gain to, to leverage when you, uh, using Fusion 360. Um, I, I don't need to also um, overemphasize this, all right? There is a PCB editor, it's quite detailed, and there's a vast range, a wide range of um, libraries from which you can, you know, pick up components and drop. Um, another aspect, another set of um, people who might, who will find this useful, uh, the um manufacturing engineers all right you know when you talk about the, the people who do manufacturing so fusion has the ability you know the camera ability to 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 get you to do full-time intelligent um machining so it supports from 2.5 up to 5 axis machining now um felix uh would also um or felix and uh, bolu who we also speak after now would also um buttress more on the CAM abilities of Fusion, all right? So this is quite helpful. And you, you, you will also see that there are also other uh, manufacturing processes like additive manufacturing that are also considered here. Um, um, I also want to also emphasize um, one of the key um, reasons why you should use Fusion, why you should adopt Fusion 360. Now, Fusion supports a wide range of manufacturing processors with a whole lot. So we over the over the years we keep developing more, more and more boost processors. So um, you do not need to worry most times because typically your 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 CNC machines or your machines are totally uh, supported by Fusion. So over the years you can you, 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 over the years you develop this whole set of post processors. So um, it's very easy for you to transition from your design development process to actual manufacturing. So there's a whole wide range of these. Also, if you want to confirm if your machine is totally supported by any of our CAM solutions, you can reach out to um, Felix or myself for that. So um, the turning processes are all in the same system. So it's not an isolated process. So you are still on the same Fusion, Fusion 360, no need to export to a third party software, no need to lose your information because you know the moment you start um, exporting to third party software, you're losing a whole lot of data and also you are also uh, restricting yourself from the backward and, for back and forward um, um, 
iteration process that is always associated with um, design development process. So when you have uh, changes to make, you might would have to re-import and make changes and export again. However, Fusion gives you that single system that you can um, align and um, remain associated to you. All right. Um, collaboration in your supply chain when you're dealing with so many uh, stakeholders in your process on the same fusion, you should be able to collaborate with the whole wide range of um, people. Um, Felix, we also um, buttress on that. So, however, to round up um, my early part of presentation, all right, you need the total connectivity in one single platform at a very, very affordable rate. So, with fusion, you should be able to have one single one central um, and single platform that can connect your CAM, CAI, and um, uh, CAD processes, all right? Uh, you also need flexes to your need, all right? The abilities to integrate uh, your electronics, your ability, uh, ability to prototype in the same system. And one awesome thing with Fusion is the ease of adoption. So it's very easy to adopt, very easy to learn. And um, it works very, very easy with the whole lots of machine, CAM machine. And there is quite a vibrant community of Fusion users that I will still introduce you to. And also um, it has a very transparent development process. Um, I, I would also want to buttress that uh, there are quite a, a wide range of communities that um, you can also leverage to learn or to have your teams learn. So. The product development process, thousands of experts out there. So um, Fusion is here and it's it's gonna run. Um, the Fusion is here and it's gonna run on Fusion 360. So um, uh, I know we have quite a limited amount of time to to have this session, but later on after this session, you can reach out to me or to um, Generative Card through um, Felix for even more um, information. So this is where I will start my, own, this is where I will stop my own part of the presentation. And thank you very much. And um, Felix, you can also, you can now take over from here. Thank you so much, Mr. Julian. Uh, that was an amazing presentation, amazing section. So it was quite so much of exploratory and uh, got to have so much deeper insights of what Fusion could do. Uh, so going to the next section, um, we wanted to introduce a uh, Bolu uh, Atifa, are you here? Can you unmute your mic, please? Yes, I am here. Good, good morning, Mr. Felix. Yeah, good morning. All right, so um, my name is Bolu Atifa. Um, I'm the technical sales specialist for Generative Card. Um, so today I'll be, uh, I'll be taking us through efficient resistive workflow processes. Um, I'll be showing you the 3D modeling and and um, 3D design and modeling um, workflow process and also the CAM work, the manufacturer workflow process as well as the PCB designs. Um, I'll be touching base on most on some of these things in Fusion 360 just to further portray what Gillian has shown us not quite long. So um, if you have questions, um, we will also be glad to have you um, submit those questions in the, in the chat section. And um, we want to make this conversation as interactive as much as possible. So um, um, just permit me to share my, uh, my slide now. Yeah, go ahead, please. All right, thank you. All right. So, um, so, um, so, 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 we'll be looking at um, fusion three sixty workflow processes. Um, fusion three sixty allows you to have um, access to uh, one of the uh, most advanced um, technology in the in the in the design in the in the design workspace, where you can actually perform lots of processes and um, applications can be found in many places. 
and um, I would like to show you uh, some of the areas where you will be able to uh, uh, find these in applications. And also, um, where uh, some of, I will also be talking based on the features um, relevant in 3D design and uh, in fusion 360 designs and modeling interfaces. So um, we'll be looking at um, the sketching, um, how the sketch, we'll, we'll actually, do, I'll just show you what the sketch can help you obtain and also where these have been applied in um, recent times. And also I'll be showing you um, um, places where uh, project that we've actually executed where we've utilized Fusion 360 to get um, a very perfect result. So uh, Fusion 360, um, some of the features you find in Fusion 360 are sketching, direct modeling, surface modeling, which is also um, common within the automotive design industry. And um, we have um, the decorative art, which can be found in the um, building industry, um, architecture, architects use it mostly in um, gate designs, facade designs, and so many other areas. And also, also you can also um, use, you can also have a, a professional design documentation with Fusion 360 um, in the drawing interface. And, and also, um, if you're using sheet metal modeling, if you also uh, um, into sheet metal designs, Fusion 360 also have uh, a good uh, platform for you to actually um, get your concept out in no time and get it straight to manufacture. So um, these are things that you can actually do with Fusion 360. And um, furniture makers as well, if you're a furniture maker, you own a machine shop, um, you have a, a CNC router for woodworks, then um, Fusion 360 is the go-to software for you. Um, it is the go-to software for you. And I think um, you, you won't regret getting on board with Fusion 360. So um, let's move to the next um, slide. Before, I'm just gonna run you through the slide before I take you through the software um, processes. So um, the next one is the efficient, we'll be looking at the efficient processing manufacturing um, interface also, where you can integrate CAD and CAM softwares, and you can access um, the manufacturing um, workspace, and you can have, uh, you can set up your tool parameters, your machine parameters, and also you can set up um, parameters for your laser, set up your profile parts and everything that um, makes you, that may, makes you manufacture, uh, manufacture ready. So Fusion 360 is quite um, efficient in these areas. And um, I, it I'm seeing a future whereby we have design engineers who would be much more concerned with the way things are manufactured and be able to design for manufacturability. Because that's one of the, for enthusiasts and for students, for professionals who also want to up their skills in manufacture, in the manufacturing industry and know what um, it entails to carry out processes and um, and telling to what they design. I think Fusion 360 allows you an early introduction into that when you pick up Fusion 360. And even in uh, for companies also, Fusion 360 has um, lots of libraries for you to actually set up your um, the machine libraries for you to set up uh, um, how, um, interface, how it interface with your own machines as well. So I believe uh, the possibilities with Fusion 360 uh, manufacturing interface is endless and Autodesk continues to support these um, very well with lots of um, updates on the library, on the machine libraries. So for you to see, for you to actually have uh, a feel of uh, what um, the key and, and the, the coding, the programs uh, would be like for you, the machines you have in your in your facility. So um, I will be going through these um, very soon in the Fusion 360 interface. Also, um, just like Gillian has um, also um, introduced us to Fusion 360 electronics, 
where you can actually um, do circuit design, specific layouts, um, and take that from the layout into the manufacturing interface, where you put out the 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 PCB boards and everything can be set up right within Fusion 360. So it it's a very powerful tool that um, allows an HEM card and he card unification seamlessly. So you the time when you have to design and not know how um, the functionality in in real life situation is over now, you can actually access all these in one software. In Fusion 360, and also Fusion 360 um, simulation also allows you to test your designs in in the early stage of development. Um, know the um, know um, your boundary, set up your boundary conditions to to achieve the re re required results and the desired result that you're aiming at. So, um, with that being said, let's move into Fusion 360. Now, so um, the part you saw earlier run was um, an automotive part, actually, and um, this is a part where we had to um, um, design and also um, perform some, pardon me, and also have to run some um, uh, adaptive clearing. Adaptive clearing is actually um, meant to actually give you a rough, um, um, machining uh, run through of your workpiece to set it ready for uh, a proper uh, milling. If you're familiar with milling, um, adaptive clearing, you first run it through a lot of um, the facing um, tools and you face the whole workpiece. Once you're done with that, you take it, then you now use the right tool to actually get the precisions you want in in the on the machine. So. This allows you um, a fast, uh, gives you access to a fast, uh, uh, to, to quickly have a clearing, um, quickly have a, a facing, fast facing process with Fusion 360, you can actually do that. Uh, so you run it and you set it up and you, once you're done with that, you can actually now um, generate your post, uh, post processes where you can generate the G and M code that you can take into the machines that is supported by your by your um, by the machines you have in the in your facility, and you can you can select base. You don't have to. You can select the, the milling and look for the machines. Look on within the vendor and drop down here and see the ones that you 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 have within your facility. Then you can now send out the codes and um, save it appropriately. So, and and these codes can actually, you can actually take them to the software third party and the third party software that you would use with the machine or directly link them with Fusion 360. And um, you can have all this um, right within Fusion 360. You can write, have everything set up within Fusion 360. So, and now uh, as many of you that are familiar with the GNM codes, uh, you can actually come in the codes and tweak them if you want or so. And, and these are just uh, limitless um, opportunities that Fusion 360 has allowed um, a design engineer and uh, an enthusiast to also have access to. And um, also, um, 3D modeling and um, 3D simulations. It allows you to set up your um, structural loading, um, your boundary conditions, uh, set up your boundary conditions, the forces at where you want them to part, and you set up your materials as well. And uh, you run your analysis. You can either run on cloud and also um, locally. But if you're, if you're running on cloud, it allows you to run um, lots of analysis simultaneously and you don't have to wait for one to finish. And your result also, it, allow, it gives you a result details where it gives you information, recommendations as regards um, the, the, your designs. Like here it's saying the design appear to be over-engineered for the current analysis criteria. So it allows you to actually make a relevant uh, um, corrections um, from early stage of the design. Then another one I want you to show, I want to show you is um, the gate design. Um, and I said something about the decorative parts. 
earlier on. Um, as many of you, that, if you're familiar with um, Osborn for sure, if you used to pass the uh, um, estate, Dolphin, um, I think Osborn for sure, Dolphin Estate 52, this is the gate there. Actually, this was done at the conceptual stage and um, this was just to, um, uh, for bidding and we were able to get the design house in no time. And, um, and this was actually um, done in Fusion 360 and it allows us to have a photorealistic rendering for presentations for, so that we can go forward to bidding for the project as well. Um, when I'm saying we, I meant, um, uh, I meant um, the, the generative card and the clients that we work with directly that will support in ensuring that they can um, set up that they can have a, uh, a design for bidding in the, in the project. And this is what you see in front of old spawn for sure. And for um, and and for furniture makers, also you can have um, woodwork, um, sort of realistic rendering, um, your um, intricate um, design possibilities into your designs can also be done in Fusion 360. And uh, I think um, it's something you want to actually um, take a look at and. Uh, to explore these possibilities and um, I'm sure most of us have this lamp in our houses and the Loton lab um, so it's actually a plastic modeling you can actually do that in Fusion 360 and simulate and animate the joints and many other things so I think um, having touched base on all these I think um, um, well, I would like to I would like to make way for um, Mr. Felix to so actually includes something here. So, so something very important you mentioned about is the recommendation part of it. Um, I, I know uh, I've come across a couple of engineers who over-engineer just to stay safe. So, you know, people lose money because they just want to be safe. They don't thoroughly analyze their, their designs, right? So they over-design. So the over recommend thicknesses. So at the end of the day, the company is losing a whole lot of money in over engineering stuff. So this is something that is quite unique with um, um, Fusion 360. So there, there is ability to communicate and put into pro, um, actual use the factors of safety, all right, whether they are in the left or the right side of you know things. So that's awesome. All right, thank you, Julian. So thank you. Uh... Bolu, uh, that was awesome, a great presentation. And uh, thank you, Gillian, for coming in here. I really want to specifically point out about a few things, just like uh, Gillian was trying to highlight. You know, uh, before I share my screen and continue my part of my presentation, I want to actually point out that, uh, you know, Fusion is, uh, is, is one central platform for all of us when it comes to uh, if you're a CAM engineer, or, or you are a machinist, or you are a designer, not even a design engineer, you could still use Fusion. You're trying to generate concept, you can use Fusion for each. If you are trying to generate a presentation rendering, high level rendering, Fusion is there for you. Probably we're not going to touch about rendering, but that's one of the things that actually we have in so much in Fusion. So it, it's, it's, it goes on from, uh, it fits in from, um, the point of uh, moving from a uh, student or a hobbyist to some uh, to a large manufacturing firm that could actually use that. So it depends on the stage you are in, and the fusion could actually allow you to get to that point. So moving to my side of the presentation, I want to share my screen. So Abolu, uh, can you uh, stop sharing so I could share my screen and then? Okay, thank you. So you can see my screen now, right? Yes, Felix, we can see your screen. Okay, so thank you so much. So I wanted to point it out uh, first, like I was trying to say, the few things that I want us to consider, we're looking at uh, some um, collaboration, managerial aspects of fusion uh, that we probably have not touched, uh, though Julian made mention of some of them. So we look at the data management, uh, collaboration, documentation, and fusion 360 extension. So first starting with uh, 
that's our management. I would want us to look at a lot more things around data management. So first it comes to the administrative tools, looking at uh, with Fusion and the Fusion team or Fusion Manage specifically, it could be able to hold, host your project on a central server without having to use a, a, a local server uh, uh, to host that or start connecting to that. And you could be able to run and manage your project remotely. Everybody could run uh, design from every point, it can be different countries and all that, and be able to have a central source design and everybody can assess every design and can actually continue taking that design from one level to another or probably coupling or even trying to run analysis. So the person who is in charge of uh, uh, analysis could pick up, can pick up the, uh, the design immediately out uh, from Fusion 360 and then continue the analysis without having to share file start trying to know which one is the latest and which one is the uh, uh, previous version and all that. So it's something that uh, goes a long way that we... Okay, so it's something that will go a long way. And then when you talk about the added administrative tools, you are talking about assigning permissions, trying to know who can have access, who can ask someone, uh, who can create more projects or even more profiles, so what type of uh, uh, permissions or level of category of permission does someone have? Is it just a viewer or someone can actually be part of the project or someone can have an administrative role in the project? So Fusion allows you to manage that. Even the user management to allow who should be there and who shouldn't be there. You can add different people for a particular project and no matter where they are, they could actually work on one single project. Uh, find my spotting, you could actually export to a lot of more uh, platforms, whether it's STL for 3D printing, or you could actually export for step files or other third party uh, uh, files. So, Fusion has so much range of files, uh, uh, points that it can export to. And then, when it comes to collaboration, just like I mentioned earlier, it goes, uh, it goes a, a long way to uh, monitor the version control. So you could add it for every save you have in Fusion, could be a version on its own. So if you can go back and return back to a particular version, you can uh, promote the previous version, or you can actually know the stages of each of the models you are looking at. And then the cloud storage makes it that, like I mentioned earlier, you know, have, helps you to have that central place where you can have your, your project in and everybody could access that project in anywhere as far as the person has internet, uh, internet access. So and then the any card function means that you could actually bring uh, with the desktop connectivity, a desktop connector, you could actually bring, have a, a design in Inventor and, and bring it in Fusion and be able to connect both of them that even a, a, an edit in Inventor could actually update in Fusion. And then an edit in Fusion could update in Inventor. So the any card function allows that, that you have a reference and match the uh, two different softwares or four different softwares in the workflow that, okay, everybody's not using Fusion, you're using Inventor, or oh, I'm using AutoCAD, or oh, I'm using a, a Fusion 360, or the like. So I, we can actually work from this software and have access to product or what we're actually doing, and even go ahead to make more verification. And every edit or notification is made is reflected for each, every single party to see and to actually review. So then team participation, like I said, is something that very collaboration uh, that we all get to, to have access. So uh, in Fusion, then the aspect of uh, uh, collaboration, just like I mentioned earlier, so you have the user management, you have uh, uh, the global share, so you could be working with a client who is not uh, a part of uh, your project, and then you could just want to have the person to see the design without having access to download economy C. And this person does not need access to Fusion 360, just with a link on a web browser, the person can just use the web browser to have access to it. So, but the commenting, so you can have a real time commenting and review why the design is going on. Maybe the manager or the product manager could actually get to review that design and comment real time. And the, the design engineer would actually going to have that pop up. Uh, comments on fusion inside fusion review that design and probably you can even do a screenshot of what you want to do and then have that access to review and the design engineer could look at it and then continue make that review immediately without having to move out of fusion 
or start writing emails and all that. These things can be tracked in, inside Fusion. The only limited asset is the public and private design. So these are all things that you could actually create a, a link assets that could have, have someone to have a private design assets or even the public design assets sharing and then team participation and all that. So it's something that goes a very long much way to help in what we are doing. And I, I wanted to point out specifically in this area when we talk about documentation, just like Bolu rightly mentioned, the, uh, most of our manufacturing workflow is still not yet integrated into CAM or 3D printing. So most of our skates would have a 2D manufacturing for wedding design and some other designs and uh, fabrication designs that are actually still kind of a bit manual. So you can generate with Fusion just to allow you to generate these uh, 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 fabrication drawing or working drawings. And then you could actually go even generate from rendering. You could actually do a lot of rendering for your presentation, like uh, I made mention of earlier, and then animation. So one thing that with animation is you could actually do an animation of exploding and uh, coupling back in Fusion 360 and be able to get the exploded view of the animation into the drawing and then for documentation purposes. So that could be help for assembling and all that. So that can give you an insight of whoever that is going to assemble how this uh, project all come together. So again, uh, okay. Next slide, I'm going to talk about a Fusion 360 extension. Now on Fusion uh, 360. Hi. Hello, Felix. Uh, have yes. you been sharing any slides? Yes. Have the slide been moving? Oh, okay. So let me, let me confirm. Okay, okay. it just moves for the first time now here. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. So, so go ahead, continue. continue. Okay, so this is the aspect I talked about collaboration and then uh, the documentation parts where you have, uh, okay, let me just quickly show this and then we could have what we could do with documentation. We could bring, uh, this is a rendering work, we could have a presentation files and bring, bring them in into your uh, drawing files and then they have that lot of documentation probably for assembling the person the current who can run assembling of each of these parts could look at it and how each of them face, like how they all meet and come together. So and then you can actually use that to generate part, um, uh, part files and build of materials from out of it. And then, so there's a lot, a lot, lot more that could be done uh, with uh, the documentation and fusion. And again, uh, so going forward, want to, I want to talk about first thing uh, around fusion just extension. One is manufacturing extension, that machine extension. First, I need to get the clarity of uh, in this Fusion 360 extension. When you have access to the Fusion 360 subscription, you might not get access to every 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 uh, particular tool, especially when it comes to large scale manufacturing. Just to make Fusion so much affordable, so this uh, this extension allow large manufacturers to have access to large advanced, uh, sorry, advanced tools and advanced tools specifically to do more. And then I still allow people who have low budgets, more hobbyists and uh, uh, small and medium scale, uh, you know, companies, organizations to actually focus where they could, uh, where their capacity is without having to break the bank. So it's something that are uh, very critical that we, we could actually take advantage of So now coming to fusion uh, machining extension, you can look at uh, uh, getting the, the uh, machine extension into the platform. And then we can talk about nesting and fabrication extension. We can look at, uh, uh, okay, so when it comes to, excuse me. So when it comes to the fusion extension, fusion extension gives access, like I said, access to advanced design and manufacturing technology. And then to get even more from Fusion, you could actually go a long way to get that. To get more from Fusion, you could actually purchase in a separate uh, uh, subscription plan to get to this Fusion and you only, uh, Fusion uh, extension, and you only get access to that. Uh, you only pay for what you need at every point in time. So you could get for 
for one month subscription, you could go for one year subscription, but we're only paying for the extension of what you need. So it's not like added to a whole, the whole costing is not added to the whole uh, uh, software costing that actually going to make your traders, but this extension allows you to pay for actually what you need when you are moving to some level of advanced uh, manufacturing process or some things you want to do. So the, the fusion, uh, um, man, the fusion machine extension extend the camp capabilities of fusion with more advanced manufacturing techniques and uh, especially uh, five axis programming two part optimization and then the aspect of process machine uh, machine verification and more a lot lot more so and then when it comes to the aspect of uh, the nesting and fabrication so when it comes to the nesting and fabrication you have a lot more to do with fusion electricity extension. So the fusion electricity extension for nesting and fabrication gives you the ability and capabilities of including multi-sheet nesting. And then set up, you can actually do the setup of two parts for nesting and then and create NC code out of the nesting process. So it's something that actually going to be, it depends on what you need. You could actually get this extension and pay so much less for this advanced uh, solutions without how to pay that at the initial point of uh, acquiring fusion traces, which allows you to focus and get access to what you need and assess it at every point in time at when you need it. So you could go for, uh, like I said earlier, one month subscription, you could go for one year subscription. So it allows you that flexibility of your budget so you don't need to tie your cash flow down uh, just to acquire an advanced software. So now when it comes to the managing extension, so it allows you to, uh, it enables engineering workflows, such as uh, changing orders, uh, releases, and uh, release management. So you have different, different levels of release and management of different products, probably have different versions of release of the product. So that uh, manage extension could allow you manage that effectively uh, so much, and then it could actually manage the automation and numbering and generation of bill of materials but, uh, uh, automatically. That's, so that can actually, enable your workflow even when it comes to managing parts and being, um, automating your parts numbering and being of material. So it has so much to offer you in that aspect. So for generative design extension, just like Julian pointed out earlier, you have access to, to actually discover ideas beyond your uh, human capacity. So vision electricity allows you to so much to iterate and uh, look at about the product before you even start designing. So it actually allows you to do validation, allows you to actually explore a lot, a lot, over 20 to 50 solutions if you just put in the parameters that you need. So this fusion electricity extension allows you to have access to the cloud query that you could actually use and you implement to have this access to so much, so much of what the solution could offer. But like I say, you don't need to get access to this. At initial, so you could actually start using fusion at the point where you need it, you could actually get uh, these uh, features for uh, fusion electricity extension. Now, uh, for the additive build, especially for metal, uh, for additive uh, manufacture for metal parts, uh, in the case of using the fusion bed, so this can actually, you can actually buy this to use it to reduce material wasting, to do uh, manufacturing uh, optimization. Uh, cost of and then and cost material wasting and cost you can actually select three different uh, parameters automatically orient these parts and generate fully associative uh, support structures and then make sure that your product doesn't fail and at the same time you apply structures where you need it and not when where it is not needed so and this, this can actually allow you for efficient programming of your product and create a very quick uh, 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 workflow for post processing when you're looking at additive manufacturing the sanding and other aspects can actually create that workflow for you to do. So this is a lot, a lot more that uh, Fusion 360 could uh, uh, afford to us, especially in the Fusion 360 extension. Now, going forward, uh, I want to share us, uh, yesterday we get to re receive the, an awesome news from Autodex to, and we started like, oh, today we're actually going to be sharing that to people because this is something like a perfect match. So uh, some people have already asked about the cost of fusion and all that. At the current price, at the, the end of the month, you could have access to, could save up to 30% of fusion price 
and even fusion extensions. So any of the fusion extensions, like I mentioned on fusion 360 could actually save up to 30% of what the cost price is, is initially. So I would encourage you that you could actually, actually take advantage of this and get, uh, get started with fusion. And then if you're considering uh, um, taking that process, you could always reach out to us, a generative card, I or Julian, and we will be always ready to help you with that process or onboarding and all that. But we encourage you to take advantage of this uh, of this offer coming up, and then is uh, we we are so much uh, confident that it's actually going to change a lot of things and the way you do a lot of things and increase a lot of productivity and help you to achieve more with so much of less resources. So, um, so thank you. Uh, so can I get in touch for us? Like I started this uh, workshop okay. hosted uh, uh, genetic car services in partnership with Autodex Nigeria. So. You can always reach out to us. Uh, uh, we could help you in the aspect of uh, sourcing your designs. We can have it. Well, the weather is coming, comes from manufacturing energy and mining, and even the construction industry from the design aspect to support services to train in advance and then uplifting, taking your staff from one point to another, and even helping you to choose the particular software that actually aids and would add value to what you are doing, not just to pick up a new software that will not actually bring so much of return of investment. So thank you so much for being here. And uh, okay. yeah, so much happy for, for your attention, for your questions to actually get to this point of this presentation. And then we'll, we'll call for your questions and then we'll actually go into, if you have questions, if you want me to mic now and ask the question, you can drop it uh, just like other people have been dropping on the chat. So this is more like a question and answer and we can pick it up can be on fusion, it can be on inquiry purposes, and it can be used certain clarifications around the product fusion and what it can do and what it cannot do. So we'll be happy, I, Julian Obolu, will be happy to take care of your questions. Thank you so much. Hi guys, so um, this should be a time for you to ask any question whatsoever. Uh, maybe from technical point of view or from the commercial point of view. So um, you can you feel free to turn on your uh, or meet yourself, or you can even use the chat box for it. Um, I'll be glad to hear you. Okay. So um. Hello. Okay. So um. Yeah. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Samson. Okay. Yes. I'm engineer. I'll look to you from Yaba of Technology. Okay. I want to ask a question. I am okay. an I am an uh, intermediate user of uh, SolidWorks. I want to ask this question. If I want to migrate from SOLIDWORKS to Autodex. How easy will it be for me? Because okay. from the discussion, I can see some similarity in uh, some of the components of the Autodex software. Okay, so um, Felix, let me, take the, let me take this question. So um, basically, if you're a good user, or if, as you mentioned, intermittent user, um, Even if you have a model or existing models in other power formats, whether you're using NX or SOLIDWORKS or PTC, um, you have a Fusion or Inventor, right? So Fusion is a cloud-based um, Fusion is a cloud-based CAD uh, CAE CAM solution. Inventor is similar. Higher, however, Inventor is um, like a very, very high end solution, right? That is much adapted to, you know, hardcore manufacturing. So either of the solution, the workflow is the same for both cases, right? So um, what you have with our solution with Fusion is, you know, it's way getting more, getting more uh, and more innovative, all right? Getting much technologies on it, um, you know, taking a lot of constraint and then also, 
drastically, drastically, I really need to emphasize that drastically, all right? Drastically reducing cost. So um, it's not even a problem. I don't think you even notice any kind of problem. Even if uh, you talk about um, time, how much time is needed for training, uh, I think a whole lot of people um, uh, here would also, or people who already know Fusion would attest to the fact that it's very, very easy to adopt Fusion. So uh, it's, it's not a problem for you at all. Yeah, so just to add a few, uh, few words to what you guys already mentioned. So even for beginners, I'll try beginners, Fusion is something that you could actually pick up as startup. So, and then for someone already who have a knowledge in CAD, it's, it's, that wouldn't be a problem. It's something that you could actually jump, understand the interface and the workflow and then you're good to go. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, okay, why I'm waiting for other questions. So I'm going to just quickly take a look at, um, go through some of the questions. I see uh, Akin Boakin, Ogunda, um, Ogumba De, um commenting on the cost of fusion. So basically what you're seeing, where you're seeing it as 4 450 per year doesn't apply to this region. Fusion uh, or the, this region enjoys some level of um, reduced price. Um, which is uh, way more than what you've seen. And as well, uh, given the fact that we will have a 30% discount running for a period of one month uh, until June 30, um, you have the ability to get fusion at even uh, a cheaper cost. So you can use it for even commercial purposes and everything you need. Um, so that, that answers that question. Um, but however, please, um, Feel free to reach out to Generative Card. They have the ability. They are they are one of our authorized partners and well focused in the manufacturing industry. So they have the ability to advise you commercially, and also they have the ability to process uh, your acquisition of um, Fusion. And also, um, yes, there is Fusion for um, student education or purpose. There is Fusion for hobbies, but they are not same. Uh, they are both same not as they are not same as um, commercial licenses also and also williams was asking about uh, okay williams is still on the call was asking about um uh fusion off offline setup for fusion so um why is it not fusion there might be need for um, having the internet on however uh you can use fusion uh offline you know, for cases where you don't have internet access. However, intermediate, intermittently, since Fusion is a cloud solution, Autodex, one of the things you notice uh, if you, that's one of the uh, advantages or the values Fusion have over any kind of um, software you have out there is that Autodex updates your Fusion at intervals. So you don't basically see people say, uh, oh, um, it's 2015 or let's update in 2015 if you're a subscribed customer. So Autodex helps you do that kind of upgrade on the cloud as it goes. So that's why you don't see things like Fusion 360 2006 or 2005 or 2015. I don't know what I understand what I'm saying. So it's quite important that maybe for at intervals you turn on your um, internet, just update your vision with um, new um, features or new patches that you have available. I think that's basically all the questions we have here. And um, if there are any more questions, um, please feel free to just turn on your um, mic, you know, ask the question so we can round up and close the session. Okay, um, Felix um, Bonu, I see there are no questions. Um, I would like to ask, um, okay, F um, Felix, you've shared your contacts detail, right? Would anyone want to have additional, um, is there anyone on the se in the session that might want to have um, um, much more closer session? on Fusion or anything around Fusion or any other open deck solutions, anybody that might want a much customized um, engagement around Fusion.
Okay. Okay, guys, so Felix, um, over to you, just to round up. We can close the session. Okay, so thank you. And uh, so I first want to get uh, feedback from Bolo, uh, any viewers, uh, any feedback or things or clarifications you want to make or some of the questions you want to input you want to make before I can close up this section. Okay, so um, I think um, we, um, you guys have pretty much done justice to most of the things we need to pass across. And um, I think if you want to take a decision about um, which kind of software to get on board with now, I think you might, I think it's time to take a decision on Fusion 360 and come on board. Um, but you can get your concept out in no time. And um, if you need more information, training, Anything you need, I think uh, you can reach us uh, via emails, and um, you can, if you want one on one uh, demo, you can also reach us. We'll, we'll be glad to come into your offices and have you go through this and give you demos that would um, help you in making your decisions faster. And thank you, Julian, also for being in the meeting with us. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Bolu, uh, for, for that uh, summary. And uh, thank you, Julian, for being here and uh, being amazing. And uh, thank you, every single one uh, who have joined the meeting or uh, who have been able to stay at this point, or even the people who joined and couldn't stay beyond just because uh, uh, probably they have one or two engagements. We appreciate the time and the uh, just know that we're always here to support you when it comes to your design, manufacturing software solutions in manufacturing segment, whether in the mining or in the metal fabrication and all that sort of ship or like in product development generally, we're here to make sure that you support, in, uh, we support in the journey and you are able to succeed. And uh, so we are so much uh, believe that your success will translate to our own success because what we breed is actually the success of people or the clients and you that we serve. So thank you so much and uh, do have a wonderful day and we appreciate you and we say bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.